Hello and welcome. Uh, today we have a very special video. This is about Taobao. Uh, I use Taobao very very often. If you don't know Taobao, it's a little bit like eBay, Wish, Amazon, like you can actually buy anything you, you can imagine. I'm in a very small city, well it's quite big but smaller for China. So we don't have a lot of foreign things or things that I'm used to or things that I like. So Taobao is a great place for me to just get anything. And most of the time, some of the things are even much more cheaper than if you actually bought them in the store. A little disclaimer, I was not sponsored at all. Like all of these items, I paid them by myself. And if this video is well received, I am thinking about doing a series of this. So yeah, let's see how it goes. Let's go and check the things that I bought, actually. So, the first thing was actually uh, the most expensive one, which was a cat wheel. It's very big and it's very heavy. It costed around 898 yuan. You can check now how it looks like. So another thing that I bought is for some family members. These are some uh, tea sets and they come like in a, a little package. I don't know if you can actually really see it, but it comes with these little four little cups um, and then it comes with a tea. Like you can choose actually different ones. I wanted to gift this, some of this to my family. I bought two sets of this tea and they costed each around uh, 68 kwai. 68. The next thing that I also bought was actually for my brother. My brother was here last year. The thing was like my brother really likes to collect flags from places that he has been. Well, this was the closest from going to North Korea. So I just got him a very big North Korean flag. So the next things that I bought was uh, some makeup items. I bought five lipsticks. They are from the brand uh, Milani and like they are not fake. They are not dupes, they are real ones. These lipsticks, so the three matte colors were 25 yuan and each and these glossy colors were 35 each. It is a pretty nice price. I will show you how they do look like. The next thing, uh, I've been watching uh, a couple of other house and other youtubers doing these kind of videos and I don't know how I came across of people doing house of just expensive brands like luxury brands I kind of fell in love with the Gucci belt even though I am not a brand person um, I don't have brand things like very expensive luxury things but I really liked the, 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 the belt idea I went on Taobao and I bought a Gucci belt and it came on this little box and this is the belt itself this is not, well, I cannot say if this is leather or not. Actually very quite good material. I don't know what the Gucci belt really looks like. Like I've never seen one in real life. You can choose the sizes. I guess I chose a little bit too big for me. I think it's pretty good. I will just put it around like, so I would have to make a little bit, a couple more holes just to fit me. I will show you. You guys tell me, does this look real? I don't know, anyway, I, I really I really like it and I will use it for sure. Oh, and also came with this. Ah, I guess this is the thing. Oh, that's amazing. To make the holes, that's fantastic. And actually, this belt only costed me 42 RMB. 42 RMB. <laughs> the next thing before we go into the clothes is a little bag. This bag, I guess it's supposed to be a, a replica from Miu Miu, but as you can see, there are no logos. There's nothing here. 
which I really like. And inside is a velvet kind of material, which is awesome. It came with this uh, gold strap and also with this um, matching the set strap. I don't know which one I'll be using, but um, this is very adorable. I, I saw some pictures and saw that Miu Miu, the brand Miu Miu, has a bag like this, something very similar. So I think this is supposed to be a dupe. Like I said, I'm not the kind of person that would spend one whole month salary for a bag. Like, I have other things to spend my money on. And this bag costed me 69, 69 RMB. That's great. And it's very, it's very hard. Um, the texture feels like a, you know, kind of weatherish, but of course it's not weather. I think. It smells good. I've been at home for such a long time that a lot of the clothes that I bought are just comfortable clothes <laughs> and cheap stuff. It's very surprising because uh, if I go to a shop, I don't, I don't mind giving a little bit more higher price. I'm saying this because here in China, in some places you can bargain. Uh, it depends where you go, of course, like not a shopping mall or something like that, but there are specific markets that you can really bargain. But I'm comfortable, I'm okay with the paying a little bit higher price. But online, I am just crazy looking for the cheapest thing possible. <laughs> and sometimes I have regrets, sometimes I have very good surprises. Uh, anyway. So the first thing I bought was this set. This is kind of like um, Adidas kind of thing. I bought this with the idea to use it summer to go to the gym. This is quite big. One thing I didn't really notice was this lettering here in glitterish. Uh, it took me a while to find out, but it says Dancing Girl, yours, you. it's supposed to be yourself, but there's some kind of mistake. There's not an R, yourself. Well. I normally don't buy things with the uh, letterings at all. I don't like it, especially in China. It's, there's always some kind of mistake. It's it's everything is well written except here the yourself. But the thing is like this glitter thing is so hard to read that I really don't mind using this even outside. So um, it's the t-shirt and the shorts that came together, and I bought them in a L L size. Another thing is like about sizes, I always have to go one or two sizes up every time. I normally use MS. I, I would feel more comfortable with M, I guess. Like I just like a little bit more uh, bigger clothes. But I always have to buy L, XL. And the price for the shirt with the shorts were 68, 60, 68 RMB. This video will have some expectation versus reality. So let's see how it looks like. The next thing is this skirt. It's I don't really know what kind of material is this, but this looks like a, the latex kind of thing. It's not bad. Feels good, although I'm afraid that it will rip off with a couple of uses. But it has a zipper in the back. I never bought anything like this, and the stitches here are really not that good. Not at all. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, I don't know if it looks fine. If it fits me. I will still use it uh, because it's such a very cute color. And I bought this one in an L size. Price for the skirt was 45 RMB. Let's see the expectation and reality. So next will be these purple denim shorts, and they came on this like very nice ziploc bag. They are quite simple. I like the color. These ones are also size L. Pants I use more S. If you buy on Taobao, you should actually really measure yourself because the sizes are very off. I guess Chinese people are very skinny, very small. So these shorts, they were 65. I think that's pretty cheap. Let's check it out. And the next item. This is so cute. This is like a very, very long, long shirt. This has the animal print. What animal is this? Anyway, this shirt is uh, one size, so it's not like you can really choose. I pay 54, 54 RMB. I hope it looks good. <laughs> Let's check it out. Since you're here, don't forget to 
like, comment, and subscribe. So the next items are actually a set. I bought them separately. You have to buy them separately, but uh, they came as a set and I, I thought it was so cute, so adorable, and I'm in love with this lilac color, actually. Um, so they have like this little top. Um, the material looks quite good. It's very soft, it has the inside. It feels, it feels quite nice. They also have like with the shorts this and big pockets. And they also have the blazer suit in all on the same color, which is so awesome. I feel very nicely about this one. I bought everything on L size and I feel like this um, bralette will be too big for me. And anyway, like even if it doesn't fit, I can also use the other things together. So basically the shorts were 50 RMB, the blazer was 90 RMB and the bralette top was 40 RMB. So let's check that out! So the next four things that I bought, trucks, sweatpants, it comes with a t-shirt and the jacket. They actually feel very warm. It's a very thick material and it's very nice. This is size L. I bought L. And this tracksuit cost me 100, 180. This tracksuit cost 180 RMB. Let's see if it looks exactly like the pictures. The next tracksuit is this one. Kind of velvet. It's so soft. And it's quite heavy. And here are the pants. And I really like this color. And this one is actually a size XL. Yeah, because I didn't really measure myself. And I bought most of them in L size. But I really wanted this one to fit me and to be nice. Oh, and the, for this one, I paid 128 RMB. Yeah, let's see how, if it looks exactly like the pictures. So next is another tracksuit and this is actually one of my favorites because of the color, it's so nice! It's like this uh, adidas kind of style but this is not adidas but it's so cool, I really like this blue and here we have the big big tag and size L and this is the... but this one is a little is thinner than the other ones so far um, which I, I'm not mad at it, it's not bad quality, it's just a thin material um, so it's more like for this spring season and the other ones are a little bit more When it's a little bit more chilly and these are the pants the same pattern, but this one costed 99 RMB So yeah, let's see if it looks exactly like the picture And the last tracksuit is a very simple just black all black with a Again, the stripes down the arms. And I really wanted to buy one like this for a very long time. Maybe for the price of one of the Adidas, I bought like four of the tracksuits. If you want to buy brand things, just go for it. I also buy brand things. Like I said, some things are very good. And if I really like them, I will buy them. But I rather spend my money in other things like traveling or good food and stuff like that than clothes items because these are so good. Very good material. You you cannot even imagine. This is very good material, and you can look so clean and nice for half the price. So uh, that's just my opinion. And these are here are the pants, the same same material, everything. And this tracksuit it costed me mm, 138, 138 RMB. Let's see if it looks like the pictures. These were all of the clothing items. And the last thing I bought were some shoes. Not any kind of shoes, sandals. So if maybe you cannot see because of my shirt. These have a little bit of a strong smell, but you cannot imagine how quite heavy they are. Like they feel such good quality. So the other one, just to make sure that they are the same. <laughs> and these are 37 in size. Oh, let me tell you how much did I pay for these shoes. I think this shoe is more expensive than the rest of the things. 222. It had 10 RMB discount. They feel very good. They are like this kind of suede material. I think they're gonna be quite high to walk on in. I think they are beautiful and I'm really impressed and happy. Let's see if they look like the picture. <laughs> were actually 
actually very good things that I bought like my expectation was always very close with the reality and uh, it's amazing I think it's amazing and like I said if this video is well received I'm thinking about making a series of this Taobao house and I can show you what we can buy for cheaper things or expensive things I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like please give it a thumbs up leave some comments feel free to express your opinions about this haul. I hope to see you for the next one. Bye-bye!